Hi, <laughs> my name is Anish Arde. I'm a 12th grader at Harrisonburg High School in Harrisonburg, Virginia. And I'm Danae Delosier, Anisha's educator scholar. And thank you for providing us the time to share our project, STEM Connect. In the next five minutes, we hope to share a brief overview of STEM Connect's purpose, people, plan, and impact. But first, to get everyone thinking about the theme of our project, we're going to give you about 10 seconds to finish this sentence in the chat. The place where I feel like I most belong is... Please put your answer in the chat and think about the support you feel that in that place as we continue our presentation. Welcome to Harrisonburg High School, a home to 1,987 students representing 74 birth countries and 57 different languages surrounded by farmland in Northwest Virginia. When our school was built 15 years ago, the space was built for 1,300 students. So in a place 600 students over capacity, it's no wonder that many HHS students feel like they don't have a place to belong. So when Anish and I first started the Bezos Scholarship Program, we wanted to solve all the programs, uh, all the problems that exist because of overcrowding. We wanted to create a school where every single student felt like they had a place to belong. And although this is something we still hold close, the systemic factors in place made the school perhaps a little too lofty for just the two of us. So we went back to the population we wanted to begin with. STEM Academy students. As we narrowed our topic, we identified the community need. About one in every four ninth graders entering the academy struggles academically. And in addition to this just being a numbers game, it's also a group that Anish holds near and dear to his heart. So I'm going to turn it back over to Anish to discuss more about the people, the project, and the impact of STEM Connect. Thanks, Ms. Delosier. Here on the slide, you see some of the people this project is for. My peers in the Governor STEM Academy at Harrisonburg High School. This academy is a four-year program where I have found lifelong mentors, made great friends, and taken part in everything from boating on the Chesapeake Bay to launching a balloon into the stratosphere. I'm also the current president of the academy. So while interviewing community members to gauge needs in Harrisonburg, it was heartbreaking to learn from the academy's directors that many students who struggle in their first years in the academy eventually drop out. Last summer, multiple peers told me that they were either considering leaving the academy or already had. My project aims to tackle this problem by helping all students find belonging in STEM. So I talked to more people. I spoke with Ms. Kenny, a counselor and sponsor of the Black Student Union at my school. I spoke with alumna of the academy about past STEM academic support programs. I surveyed several freshmen about what support they felt they needed. We and then we sent an email to the whole academy pitching the project and seeking interested STEM Connect team members. Our team represents many backgrounds and future interests. Mr. Sneller, the assistant director of the STEM Academy, is also on our team as part of our strategic partnership with STEM. Our next goal is to recruit at least one ninth grader to join our team, so we represent all grade levels. Our team takes shared ownership of our project, and here are some of the topic ideas we brainstormed together for many lessons during our after-school sessions. One idea we had was speed dating our STEM Academy's student leadership board on Valentine's Day, so underclassmen can ask questions about the roles of our student leaders and how they can get involved. Our next team collaboration is presenting about STEM Connect to nearly every STEM Academy student during their classes next week. After much feedback and refinement, we defined our project, a one-hour after-school program held weekly for STEM Academy students, launching this Tuesday, January 31st. We will kick each session off with a 15-minute mini-lesson about anything from leadership to oceanography. Then we will transition to quiet study time. A STEM teacher will always be present for academic questions. We will divide into STEM buddy groups that combine one STEM upperclassman and two to three underclassmen, so younger students always have an experienced academy member for homework support. Our participants have, will have the opportunity to attend two STEM-related field trips. And finally, we will enjoy food and games to celebrate the opening and closing sessions of our program. And to measure the impact of our program, we'll administer a survey about belonging in STEM to our participants before and after the program. We're also in the process of adding STEM Connect to the responsibilities of the Academy's Student Leadership Board to create a sustainable impact for future years. Ultimately, through this program, I want more of my peers to say the place where they feel they most belong is our STEM Academy. 
Thank you for attending, and I want to say a special thank you to the Bezos Scholars Program and the Governor's STEM Academy at Harrisburg High School for this opportunity and their continued support. Thank you, and what questions do you have?